In this video, we are going to check if ordered pairs or a couple of different situations, but uh, at least on this one, these two are, are ordered. Are, is this ordered pair a solution to this equation? Uh, remember that in order for it to be a solution, it has to work. If you plug in this X and this Y, does it add up to 12? And if it does, then it's a solution. And if you graphed it, it'd be a point on the line because every point on the line is a solution. So I have no idea. We're just gonna sub in the negative two for the X. We're gonna sub in 16 for Y and we're gonna see if it works. So we have a two times negative two because that's our X value plus our Y value, which is 16. Does that add up to 12? Don't know, let's do the math. So two times negative two is negative four plus 16. Does that add up to 12? Yes. So that tells me that negative 2, 16 is a solution, which also means it would be a point on the graph if we graphed it. Okay. So same idea. Is this point uh, on the graph, which basically means, is it a solution? So I don't need to graph it to figure that out. Um, that might take too long. So instead, I can just plug this in and see if it works. So remember that this is my x, this is my y. Um, now this is giving it a little bit of a different format. It's called function notation. This f of x is how you say that, really just means y. Okay, so this is what you're looking at. So we're gonna plug in our x value, which is three. We're gonna plug in our y value, which is negative two. So two times three minus five. So there's nothing to do on the left side. This is a six minus a five or the extra parenthesis, um, six minus five, but six minus five is not going to equal negative two. So no, so it's not a solution. Which means not a solution, so not a point on the graph. Okay, so they are mean one and the same. All right. Um, so here we're going to solve this equation um, where this is more like we give you an x value, figure out the y value. So we're just going to substitute that in. So we're going to take two, replace it, or take the x, replace it with the three that they give us, figure out the y that goes with it. All right, so we're trying to make a solution. So if they give us part, we're gonna plug it in to find the other part. So that's a six minus four y equals 14. All right, so now I am looking to solve the equation. So I have a six that I need to bump over. That's a like term with a 14. So right now it's a positive six. So I'm gonna subtract that over. That would leave me with a negative four y equals 14 minus six is eight. And then, so we combined our like terms. Last thing is to divide. So y would equal eight divided by negative four because these two would cancel, uh, negative two. Okay, so now it's a solution. So that three and then negative two could be a coordinate if they were asking for it, or it's a point on the, point on the graph as well. Okay, but negative three goes with negative two. All right, this one, we have an equation that looks a lot different than the others, okay? This one is your x is six no matter what, all right? Which means that if you have a y value of two, there is no correlation between the x's and y's like there are on this equation, like there are on this equation, like there are on this equation. There's no correlation at all. Y could literally be anything as long as x is six. So these question marks on the x's all that just means is that they have to be sixes. The y's can be anything. That's it. So six, two, six, negative three, six, one. No correlation whatsoever. Okay. All right. And then two more here. So kind of, we're going to create an equation. We're going to find a solution and and solve the problem. So we have a small business photocopied a report that included 12 black and white pages, 25 color pages. 
cost was $23.70. I guarantee you that the color pages are going to cost more than a black and white. So letting B equal the cost for a black and white page and C equaling a cost for the color page, write an equation of the two variables. So we're not solving anything actually, we're just creating an equation. So um, we don't know what the overall cost is, but we printed 12 black and white pages. So to figure out if I knew that that was a 10 cents a page, then I would take 10 cents times 12. So just because I don't know what that cost is, that doesn't change the fact that I would multiply those two together to figure out the cost for the black and whites. Maybe use the right letter. And then we printed 25 color at a cost of C. Okay, so this would represent the total cost for the black and white. This would represent the total cost for the color. And then our total bill was $23.70. Okay, and so if we knew more information, then we would go further with it. But all this was was just practicing setting up an equation. Because in a word problem, that's one of the hardest parts anyway. Um, okay, so, oh, here we go. Solve the equation above. So here's our equation. Um, to find the cost for each black and white copy if the color copies cost 90 cents each. So that tells me that the color is 90 cents. Perfect. So now we can go further with it. So I have a value that I can replace here. So I have 12B plus 25 um, times C, which C is 90 cents each, and our total bill is 23.70. All right, so 25 times 0.9, if I throw that into a calculator, that gets me 22.50. Okay, so 22.50 out of the $23.70 is made up of my, our color copy paid cost. So we'll subtract that over to try to isolate the B. 2250. All right, so 12B. So this is going to represent what's left for the cost of the black and white. So it's $1.20 if you subtract those. So it costs $1.20 for 12 copies. So how much is each copy going to cost? We'll divide by 12, divide by 12. So the black and white is costing, if you throw that into a calculator, you're gonna get 0 0.10, 10 cents. Okay, well, 0 0.1 actually the calculator is gonna give you, but that represents 10 cents. So your cost per black and white Page is 10 cents, point 10. Perfect, okay. And that was um, kind of finding solutions and verifying um, coordinates are solutions, which means there are points on the graph.